Here we're looking at writing fractions. The question says, what fraction of the shapes are coloured in red? So let's look at our first shape. To write a fraction, we need to know how many parts there are in total and how many are coloured in red. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six parts in total. And one, two, three, four, five are red. So five out of six are red. And as a fraction, we write that as five over six or five sixths. For the second one, there are two parts and one is red. So one out of two are colored in red. And we, we write that as one over two or one half. One out of two is red. For the next one, there are four parts, three are coloured in red, so three out of four are red, and we write that as three over four, or three quarters. And the fourth one, there are five parts, two are coloured in red, so two out of five are red, and that is two over five, or two fifths. Okay, four for you to try, so give these ones a go. The first one, there are three parts. One is in red, so one out of three, one over three, or one third. For the second one, we've got four parts. One's red, so one out of four, which we write as one over four, or one quarter. For the next one, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts, and five are red. So five out of eight. So we write that as five over eight, or five eighths. And the last one, there are five parts, three red, so three over five, or three fifths. Here we're looking at equivalent fractions. The question says what fraction of the shapes are coloured in red? For the first one, there are two parts. One is coloured in red, so that's one out of two. So one over two, or a half, is red. For the second one, the same rectangle has been cut into four pieces. And two are red. So two out of four, and that's two quarters. We can say that one half and two quarters are equivalent. They both represent half of the total shape. If you add half of a cake or two quarters of a cake, you have the same amount of cake. It's just been cut into a different number of pieces. And we've got another equivalent fraction here. This time there are six pieces, and three of them are in red. So three out of six, or three sixths. That is also equivalent to one half. If you've got three out of six coloured in, that means that half are coloured in. Three out of six is the same as one half. To find equivalent fractions, we can use times tables. So if you multiply the top and the bottom of a fraction by the same thing, you can find an equivalent fraction. So if you multiply the top and the bottom by two, so you start with one half, you multiply the top and the bottom by two, you get two quarters. If you multiply the top and the bottom by three, you get three sixths. If you multiply the top and bottom by four, one times four is four, and two times four is eight. So four eighths. That is also the same as one half. If you multiply the top and bottom by five, you'll get five out of 10. And that is another fraction that is equivalent to one half. If you had five tenths of a cake, you've got the same as one half of a cake. Okay, two questions for you to try. So write down a fraction equivalent to one third 
and write down a fraction equivalent to three quarters. For question one, we could have multiplied the top and bottom by two to get two six. One times two is two, and three times two is six. Or we could have multiplied top and bottom by three and got three over nine. Or if we multiplied top and bottom by four, we would have got four twelfths or five five fifteenths. And we can keep on going. This list would never end. We could keep on going forever. For three quarters, if we multiply top and bottom by two, we could get six eighths. If we multiply top and bottom by three, we'd get nine twelfths. And again, we could keep on going, listing these forever. Here we're being asked to simplify fractions. To simplify a fraction, we're looking to get the smallest possible number on the top and the bottom of the fraction. To do that, we look at what times table the top and the bottom number are both in. For the first one, we've got three twelfths. What times table are three and twelve both in? They are both in the three times table. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that three is one times three. So I'm going to write a one. And 12 is 4 times 3. So 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 is equivalent to 3 twelfths. If you multiply top and bottom of 1 over 4, 1 quarter, by 3, you would get back to 3 twelfths. Can I simplify this any further? I can't. The only times table 1 and 4 are both in is the 1 times table. And that's no good for simplifying fractions, because I'd say 1 is 1 1, and 4 is 4 1s, and it would still be 1 quarter. So 1 quarter is as simple as it gets. That's simplified. For question 2, we've got 50 over 60. What times table are 50 and 60 both in? There are different ones, but the biggest times table they're both in is the 10 times table and we can say that 50 is 5 tens and 60 is 6 tens and again i can't simplify that any further because the only times table 5 and 6 are both in is the one times table for the next one we've got 24 over 36 and i'll do this in steps this time i'm not going to go straight for the biggest times table I'm going to say they're both in the two times table. They're both even numbers. So I can half the top and the bottom. Half of 24 is 12. And half of 36 is 18. So 24 out of 36 is the same as 12 out of 18. But 12 and 18 are both in the same times table. And again... I can say they're in a two times table. So two sixes make 12 and two nines make 18. So I've got six ninths. And again, six ninths is equivalent to 12 eighteenths or 24 out of 36. But six and nine are in the same times table. They're in the three times table. So it's two threes and three threes. And that is as simple as it gets, because the only times table 2 and 3 are both in is the 1s. Okay, 3 for you to try, so give them a go. Question 1 is 15 out of 25. And we can say they're both in the 5 times table. So 15 is 3 fives, and 25 is 5 fives. So it's 3 fifths. 8 and 14 are both in the 2 times table. So 8 is 4 twos, and 14 is 7 twos, so it's 4 sevenths. And 32 out of 40, you could do it in steps, 
but the biggest times table they're both in is the eight times table. So 32 is four eighths and 40 is five eighths. So it's four fifths. Writing fractions in order of size. So here are four fractions. We've got one half, 11 out of 24, five twelfths and three eighths. How can I write these in order? One way of writing them in order is to make sure the bottom number, the denominator, the bottom number is the same for all of them. And I can do that by making them all out of 24. So 24 is in the two times table, the 12 times table and the eight times table. So I can change my fractions. I can find equivalent fractions to one half, to five twelfths and to three eighths to make them out of 24. So let's look at how I do that. So I'd say 24, to get to 24, I need to multiply two by 12. So if I multiply the bottom by 12, I need to multiply the top by the same thing. So that's one times 12, which is 12 and two times 12, which is 24. So one half is the same as 12 out of 24. I'm going to leave 11 out of 24 as it is. I can make five twelfths out of 24 by times in the top and the bottom. You've always got to times the top and the bottom by the same thing for it to be equivalent. Times the top and the bottom by two. So we've got 10 on top and 24 on the bottom. So 5 twelfths is the same as 10 out of 24. And 3 eighths, if I times the top and the bottom by 3, I'm going to get 9 out of 24. So 1 half is the same as 12 out of 24. I've got 11 out of 24. 5 twelfths is 10 out of 24. And 3 eighths is 9 out of 24. So which is the smallest, which is the biggest? The smallest is 9 out of 24. 9 is smaller than 10. And 10 is smaller than 11. And 11 is smaller than 12. So we're going to say 3 eighths is the smallest. Then 5 twelfths. Then 11 out of 24. And then one half. Okay, there's one for you to try here. So have a go. So to write them in order of size, we're going to make them all out of the same thing. And if we, well, we can make them all out of 40. 40 is in the 10 times table, the 8 times table, the 4 times table, and the 20 times table. So for 7 tenths, 7 out of 10, we multiply the top and the bottom by 4, and it will be out of 40. So 7 times 4 is 28, and 10 times 4 is 40. For the second one, we multiply top and bottom by 5 to make it out of 40. 5 times 5 is 25, and 8 times 5 is 40. For 3 quarters, multiply top and bottom by 10, so that'd be 30 out of 40. We've got 31 out of 40, which is already out of 40. And if we double top and bottom for 16 out of 20, that'll be 32 out of 40. So which is the smallest? 5 eighths is only 25 out of 40. So 5 eighths is the smallest. Then we've got 28 out of 40, which is 7 tenths. 30 out of 40. 31 out of 40. And 32 out of 40. So 
So they're in order of size, from smallest to largest to biggest. Okay, to finish up, we've got two questions. Pause the video and give them a go. Question one, simplify these fractions. So we're going to get the smallest possible numbers on the top and the bottom. So 14 and 28, we can say they're both in the two times table. They're both even numbers, so we can half them. Half of 14 is 7. Half of 28 is 14. And then 7 and 14 are both in the 7 times table. So we've got 1 7 and 2 7s. So that is 1 half. 6 and 30. They're both in the 6 times table. So we've got 1 6 and 5 6s. So that's 1 fifth. And 18 and 72, we'll do that in parts. So we can say they're both in the two times table. We can half them. They're both even. Half of 18 is 9. And half of 72 is 36. Now 9 and 36, we can say they're both in the three times table or the nine times table. So let's do the 9 times table. 9 is 1 9, and 36 is 4 nines. So it's 1 quarter. And question 2, write these fractions in order of size. So what times table, or what number is in the 12 times table? the four times table, the three times table, and the eight times table. We can say 24 is in all of these times tables. So if we make all of these numbers out of 24, we can easily put them in order. So for five twelfths, we'll times top and bottom by two. Five times two is 10. 12 times two is 24. For one quarter, times top and bottom by six. So that'd be six out of 24. For one third, times top and bottom by eight. So that's eight out of 24. And for three eighths, times top and bottom by three, which makes nine out of 24. So the smallest is one quarter, which is six out of 24. Then we've got one third, which is the same as eight out of 24. Then three eighths, which is nine out of 24. And then five twelfths, which is the same as 10 out of 24.